Good morning. All right, we're out here on this job. Now what we're gonna do is to dig it. Uh, we got about 20, they're telling us about 23 foot deep. I don't think it's quite that deep, uh, tying in a sewer. So we're not doing the plumbing. We're just doing the digging, setting the boxes, getting the lines. It's got a few utility lines to go around. I'll show them in the video. So everybody enjoy, watch and see how we do it and have a good day. As you can see, we got a few utilities. Our sewer, which I ain't worried about that one. It's this one right here, it's communication line. We gotta watch. So. Tie in, see how close we are to the street. got to be extremely careful. Here's the beginning of the job. And if you hit one of these lines, you know it's gonna be a bad job. And it all happens in the beginning. So take your time. See Raphael there probing. Probe down. You know you got six inches, you're clear. Now you look at the back of the teeth because if you start to hit something, you'll actually see the man looking at the back of the teeth will see the cable, pipe, or whatever it is before you break it. So that spotter right there is, he save you a lot of money and keep your insurance payments low. He's worth his money. You know the cable's down there. You know you're looking for have to get out of the machine sometime and just dig. There's no getting around it if you don't want to start hitting utilities. Don't be lazy. Get out, dig, probe, do whatever you got to do to find that without breaking it. Okay, the deeper you get, the closer you get to the danger zone. So you gotta be more cautious. Here he is probing it, and there it is. See right behind the shovel? We sprayed it with orange. Now we know in front of it, there's not supposed to be any other utilities. So that don't mean just run wild, but you can kind of start moving. If there is, um, you're covered. You, you had it located. Take advantage of that free location service. It'll save you a ton of money and time. Now that you found it, you've got to expose it because we've got to go down 18 foot deeper than it's located. So the guys get out, get the shovel, get the machine, dig a little bit with the machine, dig a little bit with the shovel. We know where it's at, we can see it. And here you go. You can see once it's cleared out, that's what we were hunting for. The trench is going on back. Ta-da, we don't hit water at this level. So I don't know where the water table is in your town, but at ours, we hit water over here about 12 foot. So at this point, we keep digging the trench. We got it shelved off and boom, we've got more water. So we got water coming in at two different spots in this hole. Fortunately, the banks are a good clay, so they're holding their shape right now. Uh, you can handle the water. We do have pumps that we will be putting out and putting in. We're not able to shelve it on the left-hand side. We have a tree there. See the roots? Uh, we're trying to save it. This is a lot of digging beside it. We don't know if it's going to live or not. We're not responsible for it if it don't. So here we're getting the thing ready. Now as you see, he's taking and he's shaving the bank. Our box is wider. It's a 48 inch spreader bar plus four inches on each side. So you add another eight inches to it. 
So this is a 48 inch bucket. So you got to take it, scrape the sides down. It also helps keep stabilizing the banks. And that's very important. Uh, to keep a bank as stable as every little thing you can do helps. As you can see, we're getting some depth in on this ditch now. We're about max digging depth for the Cat 320. You can look, she's got her arm all the way down in it. That is definitely max digging depth for the 320. We're a little over 20 foot deep <clears throat> getting in there. Next, we gotta set the trench boxes. You know, but as you can see, we're maxing out the depth of the digging. From here, we'd shelf on down to get deeper. These trench boxes are heavy see right here moving it around setting it up we're about the biggest size box that this machine can handle uh, any more than this you need to get on up to a 330 336 but we got what we got um, here you got a good skilled operator working this box so we'll put it in there we got to move it around get it to where it can go in have to work with it get it lined up once you get it lined up reset the cables move her right on in readjusted the cables now we're ready to set it down in there this is the point where you just got to be patient take your time look at it work with it make sure everybody's safe Slowly getting it worked in there. Remember, we do not want to damage the utility cables we exposed. Trench is tight. Keep working it down. Just kind of work rocking it back and forth. Easing her in there. Now we're starting to get up to the critical point. We're right beside the cables. That box will rip them with no problem. Plenty of weight there to do. Easy. Oh, see, you can touch it right there. Ease it in. Ease it in. Yes. Got to finagle the bagel to get them in, working around utilities. Setting in the chair makes it look easy. That's a skillful driver right there, no doubt about it. Operators are awesome. Now at this point, the front of the box is in there sitting on the bottom we have to slide it up under the utilities. So I go back uh -oh. and start rocking it back and forth. Notice the bucket be at the front where it was in the back. You can move your bucket back and forth to change where you want to pull on it because you can't get down in there to change the cables. Here we 
we are working it up under. See it sliding right up under. Drop. Been in there like a glove. That's some good driving right there. That is some good driving. Get it in there and let's get it set. And let's see where we're at from there. Now what we're doing is shooting our elevations, getting the flow line so we'll know what we need to tie into. The box is setting down in there. We took the tube of sixes, plugged up one end of it so it wouldn't cave in on the guys. Now it's time to pump it out. As I said, we've got two water leaks pouring in here quickly. So we're going to hook a pump up to it and start pumping. At this point we check the elevation, we're pumping the water out. We want to make sure we're deep enough before we set the next box on top of it. Once we set the next box on top of it, it's going to limit our reach on digging on some of this spot. You've seen that the machine was maxed out. So we're not ready to turn it over to the plumbers yet. We want to make sure we're at the right elevation. Here we are on day two. We've got the right elevation. We've set the socket box. We're pumping it out. We're ready for the plumber to do his job. This water is going to be a problem. It's just coming in good. It's flowing. Here's where you got to go over your measurements. The orange paint line over there, that is for the marking of where the manhole two sections were put together. The inspector wants to see that. Then you're allowed to core drill either six inches above that or six inches below that, but you cannot core drill where that orange line is. Okay, we got our depth, we're ready, we know where it's gonna drill. Now remember, we're just doing the machine work. We have to put in some bull rock, river rock, whatever you want to call it, uh, in the bottom to stabilize the stack that's going to be coming up this sewer. So that's what we got here, pushing the box back all the way, the top one. And then we're going to start sprinkling the rock in there, and it only has to go up on the turnout. So in other words, this thing's got a turnout that comes out of the bottom of that, runs up from 18 foot deep to the, about the eight foot deep. Now the rock here, We'll give it a base on the bottom, make it friendlier for them to work on if we get it done quickly. So you can see sprinkling it in there. Now you can see the plumber got set up, he's drilled, he's got the mount for the core drill to work off of with the water. Look how much water is this coming in. That's a problem. That electric drill that is, would be hanging down in there. Here you can see the plumbers discussing what they're going to want to do next. And with that, we're going to end the video. I'd like to thank everybody. We will do a part two on this. Thank you.